welcome back in today's video we're going to talk about the ps sense firewall and we're going to talk about security vulnerabilities which hit that firewall specifically we're going to talk about one vulnerability and we will take a practical example from hack the box okay so basically what's bf sense firewall so bf sense firewall is an open source firewall can be used as a network router and firewall at the same time of course you can install bf sense firewall it doesn't have to be actually an appliance you can install the software it's based on open bsd if you have heard about open bsd it is the os that bf sense firewall was built on therefore you can install the bf sense firewall on your virtual machine or if you have a physical computer or physical machine you can also install that on the base operating system which means you can install it have a license and start working on that firewall bfsense can be used as home firewall or corporate firewall and actually it is uh, actively replacing many firewalls in the marketplace including cisco sa firewall since it has many capabilities and package managers through which we can install further packages to enhance the security functionality of this firewall specifically you can use it as dhcp server you can use it as wi-fi access point dns server you can also create firewall rules and surprisingly you can also treat or make it work as an ids intrusion detection system in which or through which you can filter traffic and have alerts configured to alert on specific patterns um, of course you can make it ids through the package manager the package manager allows you to install snort and other add-ons through which you can make it an ids unfortunately although it's built for security it still has security bugs so the one we were going to talk about today is the bfsense or the status rrd graph image.php which allowed for command injection and once the vulnerability is exploited an attacker would be able to gain root access that's how dangerous it is so if you have bfsense firewall on a physical machine that is also serving as a public server or also serving for any other service you have in your company it's very important to patch the pfsense file i know it's old but still some people run run pfsense on older versions so it's if it is before 214 it means you are vulnerable let's talk about this vulnerability and see how we can exploit this so for today's video the practical scenario will take sense box from hack the box it's, it's a machine that serves the purpose of this video so let's jump to the machine and demonstrate the scenario so basically uh, we have as you can see i connected to the vpn and in here i have only one ip address which is the ip address of the firewall once you navigate you will see the uh, login form most of you know that misconfigured and not secured firewalls or any web applications are left with default credentials so we can try the default credentials but we need the username in here the default credentials for pfsense is actually admin and pfsense but it's not going to work because the username is different how do you find the username you can just use directory search and don't forget here to add dash k because the firewall runs on https and you want to account for this and also don't forget to add dash a text and also php to enumerate for file extensions we hit enter and we're going to now see what are the directories found now I, i'm not going to wait for that i'm going to directly go to the intended directory so let's see here there is a file or directory called system users you will find this at the end of the scan in here so if we navigate to the file we have please create the following user rohit and company default this is a hint that in order to log into the firewall administration panel you will have to use the default credentials and bearing in mind that you will need to use the username rohit so basically i'm gonna x on that and go back uh, so 10 10 10 60 so here in the login form uh, let me go out yeah you can log in with the rohit and bfsense once you log in, you'll see the administration panel. And in here, we see the different tabs that you can go through if you want to configure the firewall 
and use it into uh, your home or in your company. So we are not in the scope of showing how to configure the firewall. We're in the scope of showing the security vulnerabilities in such uh, software such as BFSense Firewall. As you can see, the version is 2.1.3. And a quick search on Google reveals that everything before 2.1.4 is vulnerable to status RRD graph image PHP command injection. If you scroll down, view the description of the exploit, BFSense 213 status RRD graph will return a reverse shell on a specified listener address and port. Ensure you have started a listener to catch the shell. That's the first thing we need to do. We need to account for the listener so we can go to my machine and here we can split this to the right and on the right I can type nc-lvp 4545. Now let's go back to the exploit and see what else do we need to do. As you can see, we have to provide arguments. For our host, the IP address of the BFSense, lhost, our IP, our port that we are listening on, and username and password we have just got. That's why this exploit is called authenticated access. Requires authenticated access to uh, operate. And if you scroll down, we see the actual exploitation process in here. So as you can see, the command is encoded in Octal and then provided in the following URL. So HTTPS, our host, the IP of the BFSense, slash status RRD graph, database equal queues. So the database parameter is used here and then the payload is used in the Octal form. So basically the payload is actually simple reversal to connect back to our listener. That's in a nutshell. So now I have just downloaded the exploit. It is here, bfsense exp.py. I can run sudo python3 and provide the arguments. So we have our host, the IP address of the machine, my IP address, the port I am listening on, username and password. If I hit enter, it's going to run. CSI token obtained means it used your credential to log in and obtain the CSRF token and then exploit has been run we should see the session on the left side or the right side but we saw nothing let's make sure the IP address is correct 14.3 and here 14.2 that's why it didn't work I have to change the IP address so instead of 2 I'm going to turn that into 3 and run that again and now I should be able to catch the connection and we got the connection back and as you can see it immediately returns root it's very dangerous so cd root ls cat root text and you got the flag so that was the video i prepared for you guys today although it's short but i think it's informative i hope you found it informative as i think and as always see you in the next video